All right, guys, so here's what we're doing today. All right, but now we're gonna do a uh, short shifter install. I got this little thing. Got this little eBay short shifter. Um, all the E36 short shifters, I mean, even the expensive ones, it just looked like the bracket was different, but I mean, it's basically the same concept, I guess. So I bought just a little eBay one. So then I actually have like, I can put a uh, likewise shift knob and shit. I don't have the stupid Euro shit anymore. So we're gonna do this. It's four bolts. Shouldn't be too bad. I already have everything disconnected because in the update video I pulled trans, did clutch, all that. So shouldn't be too bad. Also, I uh, I did the bondo there, and that's just spray paint. So tell how much whiter that is. But who cares? Car's gonna get wrapped, I think. So yeah, that's that. Tail lights are out right now. This side's done, no more rust hole, so that's cool. Um, it shouldn't be too bad of an install, except for I have no drill bits. All my drill bits are toast, so yeah. We just have to drill our hole here, hole here, hole there, hole here, since it's chassis mount. Then run our bolts, bolt them down, and then connect the shift linkage rod. Also, I did a new clutch and everything, and the pedal is like, Bro, you only have like it, like this much of pedal. Is I don't know, is that an E36 thing or something? Or a lightweight flywheel or something? Like, is that common? I don't know, because I don't know anybody with an E36 that has done a clutch other than OEM. So I guess let me know if that's normal, because I really don't know. It's my first E36 ever owning. This motherfucker's broke shit. Making noise and shit. E36 is. All right. Damn, bitch. All right, so we're gonna try to find some drill bits that will create that hole. Let's see what we have. I think this motherfucker right here might eat, to be honest. I mean, it's got like no edge, but she might eat. So yeah, I'll pop into that in a second. It just sandwiches itself down and this plate goes on the bottom and just sandwiches it to the car. So I don't even have drill holes. This was probably the easiest install ever, actually, except for doing unconnecting everything. So your old shifter, I don't even know where that's at. Oh, here. So this is your old shifter on the E46. You're going to have this bullshit you don't need this anymore this is what holds it to the car but you don't need that because now you're having these plates sandwiched to the chassis this is the most annoying piece to get off i'll show you that in a second on the trans so i'll show you that oh so, yeah so basically this is how i got them all started this will just twist so we can line it up with this piece here this is the piece this will slide in once we get it all together, that'll slide in. There's just a little clip, like this right here. A little clip and a little ring. So this is the piece I was talking about here. I can show you a good view. This. So that piece is going to sit through here. This rod comes out. You have to get a little flat head. Let's see if I can do it with my hand. I don't know if I can. Oh, almost. Ah, that bitch is hard. All right, so basically see how I have it up. You have to get a flat head in, pry it up. This clip will come up and that will, I wanna get it so I can show you. Hold on, let me see if I, let's see if I can do it with this thing. Oh, this is, I can't see anything. I'm going off the camera, but. You need two flat heads. All right, you need two flat heads? Yeah. Yeah, so, all right, you need two flat heads, and you just have to get this clip up, because, see, it'll go down like that. Just probably small up. One small one and a long one, and then this is just a pen. It'll pull out. Take that off. It mounts right in here, like I said. It just holds it to the car, but that can come out. You don't need that anymore. This is literally it. And then you just connect this piece back, but we're going to have to adjust this, because loosen this. This will screw down. Adjust that shit. I'll show you how it looks in car. Sits up. Don't sit up too high. I mean, I'm gonna do a different shift knob, but yeah, it's really stiff as you can see. Like, it's smooth, really smooth. But that's literally the install, and then it's just the little Allen keys and then a bolt. You you guys can figure that out. I don't know the size yet because I haven't tried. 
and then just slap your fucking boot back on there and that's a fucking short shifter install the hardest fucking part is pulling the shit out i don't know if you i can't remember because i did this all i dropped all of this shit so i could do the clutch and then i was just replacing everything as i go so i don't know if you need you possibly have to get the drive shaft out the way because i mean as you can see drive shaft is literally going across right where it is so you probably have to get drive shaft out the way exhaust comes more this way so i'm not sure if you need that out the way but yeah you'll have to figure that out once you start doing it just start dropping shit but the main reason the video is this and that was the easiest thing ever so yeah and then so far we have the oil pan everything back up i'm waiting on a motor mount bracket because there's no passenger motor mount right like a whole bracket at all so i'm getting one of those someday have one of those in sunday because literally the motor is sitting fucking like you have like a fucking foot to go up so that'd be nice i'll probably raise the motor eventually i have more stuff to order and that was literally the easiest thing ever so we're gonna try to get this man's axle out really quick all right so we don't need it because fuck so we're just gonna fucking do the old just smack that bitch It doesn't look like, it looks like all the spines are fucking lined up, so I don't know what's huh? going on with that. It looks like all the spines are lined up, so it's not messed up. So his car is making a weird noise. We thought it was the diff, because he had a lot of diff over there. So we took that out to see if maybe the diff was fucked up, because one of the cups on it was moving in and out. And yeah, so we took that out, put the normal open diff back in, but it's still making the noise. So now we're going to axles. He's going to throw in my old axle to see if it still does it. So now we're just trying to get this bitch out. And that's why we're beating it with a fucking hammer. Because we don't care. There's another one's going in it. So yeah. Alright, so now it's uh, night time. Boy's axle did not want to come out. I've never seen an axle like this in my life that didn't want to come out. So we had to beat that bitch with like the legit sledgehammer. We fully crushed it. Because fuck it. Don't need it. So. Have it back together. Almost. This man's just putting it back together. Got the good one in here. Like she's pretty golden, so I think she should uh not make any noise and should be good. This cute cute boy's doing it. Um God damn it, I yeah, sweat in my eyes. We just beat it with a hammer and then we uh beat it with a hammer to get it back in because it didn't want to go. So if Don't you, buy an E36. Yeah. So we're gonna see if it makes noise anymore. And if it does I say just let it eat until. If it does cars for sale. Yeah, cars for sale if it makes noise still, so watch out for that. What's up with this ratchet? I personally say drive it until it breaks, and then when it breaks, you know what broke. So that's my way of doing it, but oh well. We're gonna see if this works. Yeah. I still have to tighten these down. I haven't tightened them down. So I think I already explained that. I'm gonna find the size for that, and I'll tighten this down now. All right, so I found the sizes for the shifter. It's a, uh, it's a five Allen, five. Um, the nuts on the bottom are a normal 13. Yeah, it's a 13, can't show you. All right, so you're gonna need somebody on the bottom of the car and then somebody on the top. So. I have my girlfriend do this part on top. She's actually, uh, she went to school. She's actually certified with a ratchet. So this will really help out. It's the only certification she has is on ratchet. So yeah, if you need any work that involves a ratchet, DM her on Instagram, she can help out with that. All right, so stick that thing in those holes. You should know what I'm talking about at that point. Okay. Yeah, just hold it in there. Mm -hmm. I'll do the twisting and shit. So now we're down here and it should be on this one. All right, so the shifter, like, okay, so up here in this little piece in there, there's a little black bushing, um, which is 
old, which is this piece here. And it was super tight. This rod did not wanna go on there. So it not wanting to go on, I had to take it out of the shifter and I just kind of hammered it on there to get it enough because you can see when you look at it, there's like a little groove for the clip to slide on, which is this piece, the little clip locks on. So I took it off from here, right here, slides in. And then remember, there are these little washers that go on, so don't forget those. So basically, yeah, I just hammered that in. Shit was tight, didn't wanna go in. So now I'm just gonna slide it in there and then hook it back up there and then, yeah. All right, so it's like four days after I put the short shifter in. <sighs> I haven't made the outro at all. I don't know, I was slacking. But yeah, short shifter's all in. Um, I don't, I don't think it feels right. Doesn't feel right at all to me. I don't know. Um, feels kind of janky, but yeah, like it kind of leans to the right and shit when you go in neutral. I don't know if this common thing at E36 is. So if you've done short shifter, just let me know in the comments. Cause I don't know. I don't want to fucking fix anything else on this car to be honest. But yeah, this is how it feels and shit. <laughs> 